What's going on with everybody, man? It's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in the pink dungeon, giving it to you real raw rugged, and I'm back in here with another review. This is that Jeff Rosenstock, man. No dream. And yo, this album came out a minute ago. I wanted to sit down with it and uh, give it a review. I've been listening to it since it came out, but I haven't got a chance to review it until now. So I wanted to touch on it because Jeff Rosenstock, honestly, people, one of the greatest recording artists of our generation. This guy does not miss. He's like Steph Curry when Steph Curry shoots and turns his back. You know when Steph Curry turns his back and look at the audience, he's not going to miss. It's just nothing but that. And that's how I feel about every Jeff Rosenstock album. Literally every one. I've heard every Jeff Rosenstock song. I've heard every Jeff Rosenstock album. And the brothers just don't miss, man. And that's why I love Jeff Rosenstock. So we'll get right into this No Dream without any further ado. And uh, this album is brought to you by Papa John's, man. <laughs> is it problematic for me to eat Papa John's, man? <laughs> I've seen that interview with Papa John's where they asked him about saying uh, the nigga word. And he was like, he's like, I've been, I've been up eating 40 pieces every day. <laughs> right, nigga was sweating. Right, nigga was sweating piece of grease, right? This interview was crazy, bro. He had an interview. Uh, in the same interview, they asked him about, like, um, you know, where's the real footage? Because he said, like, that was edited footage. They're like, all right, so where the real footage at? He was like, ha, 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 ha. Just wait and see. <laughs> Right, nigga was laughing like an evil, nigga was laughing like Bane. I was like, bro, what is going on? Bro, Papa John's is an insane human. Um, shout out to him, I think. I don't know if I can say that, but hey, man, that nigga was crazy. Uh, first track, though, No Time. Um, Very, very just good intro, very quick. It's like you made this No Time sound. It was like, hey, nigga, uh, you got to turn this out, man, and, uh, tomorrow. It's like that nigga just Bugs Bunny did the dash of the studio and just put out this song really quickly. But it's very high tempo, very nice way to start off this album. This album is very chaotic, like the entire album, almost the entire album is very chaotic. And I feel like it's a reflection of America, what he sees America as a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of chaos going on right now. And this album is just very just uh, panicky and chaotic. And I feel like that's a perfect way to start off this album in a very panicky, chaotic way, because it lets you know what you're going to get into. And then you go to Nike's, Nike's alt, excuse me. This is fire, man. This is such a good song, man. Um, Jeff Rosenstock is one of my favorite artists because of his songwriting. I love people who are great songwriters, but he is different because a lot of people who are great songwriters give you these very heavy topics and you have to sit down and break it down and break down the layers and and and, and pop lock it and, and get it right and spin it around. You know, you really got to sit down and allocate some time to this type of stuff, right? But I think the difference between him, he can introduce this heavy topic, but make it fun. He makes good songwriting or sometimes even heavy songwriting fun, which I feel like is a very difficult task because when you're speaking about something very important or heavy, you kind of want to grab the attention. You want to grab the attention of the listener and be like, yo, nigga, listen, you feel me? And to do that, you might have to start off with a very sombering beat, really engage them, like, where's this finna go? But the way he does it, he just makes you want to dance, bro. He, he could be talking about niggas getting shot in the back of the head, bro. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm turning, you feel me? That's the crazy part about it, bro. He could be like, they're shooting each other in the head. I'm just like, yes, yes, they're shooting. It's crazy, bro. The way he could make it fun, but also you hear what he's saying, so it's not like he's distracting you by the beat. I feel like the beat is engaging you, but you know what he's saying because his vocals are very present within the song it's different bro it's different from most people that introduce heavy topics and songs and like i said i have to give him his props you feel me man and, and nike's is one of those songs where it isn't too heavy but you talk about people being sad in life and being depressed and basically trying to uh, cover up their depression by buying things like nike's or buying materialistic things and how is hypocrite i mean how is uh hypocritical to do those type of things and yeah Nike's all is fire, man, with the chasing bliss, riding bliss, and they're so fucking ignorant. <laughs> Yo, this is such a good song. And um, yeah, like I said, nice way to really uh, give like a very kickoff to the album. And then you can go to Scram, bro. Scram is one of my favorite songs on this album, man, with the I've been told for most my life to wait until the perfect time by P. Who been defined by P? I mean, by skin, being spots in line. Hey, fire, bro. Love that bar, man. I love that little line right there, man. 
He was told to wait in line by people who was already skipping the spot. Don't you hate that, bro? You be in line for something, man. And then you, hey, be, bro, niggas be thinking they slick. What a nigga be, you know what I'm saying? They be on the phone. He's like, they'll never just like just walk in and just skip. They'll be like, uh, and they be talking to themselves. Nigga got a fake conversation. And say, ah, man, what is shit that crazy, man? Hey, excuse me, excuse me, real quick, excuse me. Nigga just stand in front of you. Be like, bitch, nigga, what did you do? <laughs> hey, man, but that's fire, man. A lot of people will tell you. Um, how to pace yourself But they had the silver spoon in the first place It's like bro you you had the advantage Like how you gonna tell me how to pace myself To my wait my time And you you know what I'm saying Your daddy Will Smith you know what I'm saying Like what are you talking about So I felt that right there man And then he I don't think I wrote it down But he had something about um uh, what it was he like? Uh, he was he was told to see the other side by people who don't see the other side. I feel like that's very relevant in today's society. A lot of people who don't understand the frustrations of people in America um, and why they feel that way, they will be like, "Well, see my side. My father's a cop." He will never hurt a fly. <laughs> he will hurt a nigger, but he wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> one put his hands on a fly. He put his hands on one of these uh, these stinging niggers. But that's it's beyond the point. You know what I'm saying? And he's just saying, like, you know, you got to see the other side of the people that are frustrated. And I feel that, man. Such a good song, bro. Don't you want to go away? Don't you want to run? Don't you want to hide? Don't you want to go away? <laughs> Kid, what, bro? This is a fire song, bro. I love everything about it. The energy, bro. Such a good song, man. And then you get the with the whoa, 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 whoa. Like everything about from his ad libs to the beat to the songwriting to everything, bro. Jeff Rosenstock just does not miss on this album, man. Such a great song. One of my favorite songs. Like that whole. Don't you want to go? And don't you want to fly? I'm not really singing like him, but you. Don't you want to go? And don't you want to fly? And don't you want to run away and die? That shit is hard to be, man. Shout out to Jeff Rosenstock, man. Then the next song is No Dream. No Dream is an interesting song, man. Basically talking about him uh, just looking at the world, man, from, uh, I guess he said, families being separated to people getting shot to bodies being carried away on TV. And he's just like, this got to be a dream, you know, just I'm just, you know, pinch myself and wake up or whatnot. But at the very end of the song, it's kind of comes to realization like this is not a dream. This is not a dream. This is real. Like a lot of people are in positions where they can say they're quote unquote dreaming. Because they don't have to face those realities of certain people in America. So it's like, yo, I don't have to really uh, talk about this or really engage in this because this is all a big uh, farce to me because I'm looking at it through a TV screen. You're not actually there. But he's like, nah, this is really going on. And it's the songwriting on this is so good, man. Basically talking about you can just turn the white noise on on the TV and just go about your go about your life if this ain't really affecting you. And that's a fact, man. Such a good song, man. Um, everything about this, bro. Like I said, when he started singing, uh, it's just you can feel like I don't know. He's a very just powerful singer. Like the way when he just screams, I don't know how he has a voice, bro. Like he is a like just a a, a, a screaming singer person, and it's always fire, man. And yeah, it was just a beautiful song, man. Shout out to Jeff for that one. I'm so sorry, somebody called me, so it's kind of threw me off. But anyway, going back to his review, State Line. I uh, love the singing on this. I uh, love his background vocals. Love the after the meeting, after the meeting, after the meeting, in the line, bring me your body, uh, bye, keep the heart in. <laughs> it's so hard, man. Can I get a piece of you? Cross the state line, in the bed, in the bed, in the bed. A such a good song, bro. That second verse when he come in with the back and runs with the he's just backing himself. Love that so much, man. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Not too many people like a day better than Jeff Rosenstock out right now, man. This guy's amazing, bro. He is just so good. He doesn't miss, man. Fire, fire song. And then we go to Fame. This is also one of my favorite songs on here, man. Um, the refrain with the, uh, you will not control, you will not control, you will not control, you will, whoa, 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 whoa,
I love that refrain, bro. Like I was doing some home. I was doing a test actually. No, I was doing. A, I was doing some homework. And like when that refrain came on, bro, I was just whoa, whoa. Oh, I just started dancing, man. Like so he makes you feel good, bro. And the way that it is so chaotic. It is fun. It is so much stuff wrapped into one, bro. I can't explain it, man. With the watch every night we crash and burn. He crash, he crash, he crash. Where was he going? Crash and burn. Like everything is so chaotic. And like I said, it just sounds like America right now. Add, add it in with a little bit of Jeff Rosenstock fun. And I think that's so cool, man, the way he could just make a song sound like so much, bro. And I feel like this is, uh, I, this, this is, this sounds like him watching everything happen in America, man. Like literally stuff literally burning, you know what I'm saying? Stuff just crashing and falling. I, I love it, man. I, I love the song. Then we're going to leave it in the sun, man. Uh, this is, this is another song where I'm like, bro. I would love to like just hear him write for just everything, bro. I want to hear Jeff Rosenstock songs on on TV. I want to hear him write for other people. You cannot tell me "Leave It in the Sun" does not sound like a song that you will hear on Malcolm in the Middle. You know, in Malcolm in the Middle, they're doing some crazy. They'll like be playing a song in between them doing something crazy. This definitely sound. I kind of want to play because this sounds like something that would be on Malcolm in the Middle, bro. Love this song, bro. With the 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 the, the, the refrain we talking about, like how it melts away or it burns your skin or whatever. That legit sounds like something that would be on a freaking Malcolm in the Middle episode. Very very great song. Um, then we go to the beauty behind breathing. I uh, didn't really have too much to say about this. Really good song though. Uh, I just wrote down fire. Then we go to old crap. I feel like this is this classic Jeff Rosenstock. This is Jeff Rosenstock and a and a uh, and a guitar. You know, good, him and his guitar. He's just strumming away. I don't even understand. Like I'm, I've tried to play guitar when I was younger and I couldn't. Like I don't understand how people do it. They're switching their fingers. They're strumming away, bro. I just see him in the booth with the old crap, Medina, oh fine, Medina. Like the way he was just singing on that. Like this is such a good song. Song, bro fire fire song um like i said this is just a, a classic jeff rosen style when you get him and his acoustic you already know you went for a goodie so yeah shout out to him for that one then we go to airbnb a fun song man basically i guess uh he's just talking about him reading through the like i guess him in the airbnb just kind of learning the history of the airbnb him flipping through the, the photos or whatever his mama somebody's some, some, some nigga mama rented the house for him it's a crazy song bro definitely definitely a good song um this is a song where like i, I would love for him to write for like uh, 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 R&B singer or something because the way that he plays with melodies it's like crazy to me he could flow too he could flow like a rapper like I would love to hear him write for people in that R&B vein because I feel like he would do great I don't know how good his R&B music would sound but him writing for an R&B artist I am so super duper here for man great great song um and then we go to monday at the beach man this is my favorite song on here bro like deep shortest song on here possibly but my favorite song man this is such a good song man but it's a monday at the beach man and he's based on my like you know he want to go to the beach on a monday hopefully the weather is good nigga if you're in florida nigga the weather it is not gonna be good nigga. it's gonna be raining it's gonna be pouring down nigga. <laughs> i'm talking about you think you, you think you'll be at the beach the whole day man bro i'm talking about in florida it'll be you will see the rain coming like you will be it'd be one place you'll be on the left hand side with no rain like literally if 10 feet away from you it'd be pouring down so wait man i'm talking about it'll definitely ruin your 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 your, your, your monday beach day man fire song you know man this is my favorite song man with the uh but it's a monday at the beach monday at the beach monday at the beach monday at the beach if the weather can't keep it together fire bro love that song man and then you go to honeymoon ashtray now this song where he's talking about uh he heard her mumber he heard her mumbering in the sky or her, he heard her the, the i mumbered to you soaking in the sky excuse me that you cannot tell me that melody that sounds like the weekend on love in the sky where uh he's singing listen to that part where he says uh i mumbered to you soaring in the sky that legit sounds like love in the sky melody and that just further 
ingrains in my mind that I want to hear him write for some R&B artists and help out on melodies because I think he would just be fantastic at it, man. Love this, man. This is also a great song. This is a little bit more of a calmer song. Uh, what Kanye said, uh, it's, it's like the calm yay song. Everything else like Kanye right now just spazzing out, but it's the calm yay right here. You know what I'm saying? This is another solid, solid song. And then he, um, he, he ends it off with Ohio Turnpike fire bro fire 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 man love this. this is a very great closer um smooth you know what i'm saying he closed it out a little bit smoother um, almost i look at it like you know i kind of hope america goes in this smooth direction because i feel like this is just a chaotic uh, album like america right now and yo man love this album love jeff rosenstock i just want to talk about jeff because i never ever reviewed anything by him so hopefully everybody enjoyed it until next time i say what i mean i mean what i say haters gonna hate players gonna play and you guys that's how I let you boy, no man.